Uh, we're here with Mike Beeler, the champion of the Pacific Challenge Series 2014. Congratulations, Mike. Hey, thank you very much, Brad. It's been a heck of a year. Tell me about the race. Yeah. Hey, thanks a lot, Danny. Danny Allen. So, uh, Danny Allen, second place in the championship. Hell of a competitor. Finished two places ahead of us tonight. And really proud to be racing with him. And a lot of the people out here in the PCS Series. The guys running it, the guys sponsoring it. Uh, it's just, it's been a real joy for us, and I'm just really glad we could pull this last race off with the top five and win the championship. Yeah, you started out uh, a little bit rough at the beginning with your qualifying, you had to start in the toward the back of the pack. Uh, how did that make you feel and kind of what did you have to do to stay strong and get up front? You know, it kind of started last night at practice. Danny was out here too. We were out here. We were both running in the fives and uh, had fast cars as that night went on. We slowed up a little bit, figuring our tires were getting older. Came out here today and uh, put Ran the old tires, went slower, put the new tires on, didn't go much faster. Uh, seemed like, uh, you know, we weren't really sure what to do. We talked about it and uh, figured the car would come in for us, and it, and it did. Mike, you know, Mike David and David's racing, and the whole crew just did a hell of a job for us. Yeah, at first it seems like uh, there was a lot of crashes at the very beginning. How were you able to avoid all those? Uh, you know, sometimes better to be lucky than good. <laughs> so what are your plans for next year? Uh, you know, uh, haven't really thought hard about it, but uh, probably run a little bigger motor if we come back out here. Well, congratulations, and here's the champion. Thank you. Thanks, Mike. Here with Danny Allen, uh, the second place champion of the Pacific Challenge Series 2014. Danny, you had to fight from way in the back from the very beginning. Tell me about your race. It was a long race at the beginning. Me and Romero got together. Um, affected the car. It's just I couldn't rotate as good as I want as I was. But it was better than what it was in qualifying and practice. I was able to fight through and hold on. At the end, it was just I knew I couldn't catch him, so I just decided to settle. I was hoping some, maybe something could happen. I'd like to congratulate Bueller on his championship. I was close, but uh, maybe next year I don't know what I'm doing yet. I gotta thank everyone that. That um, let me come out here, Nick Smithson Specialist, Mike Nick himself, Alex Cabinet Victor, Race Media Group, and Racer Pulling for this uh, beautiful car. Thank you all, and I don't know what else to do next year, but I hope to see you guys soon. Yeah, it's it's been a great race between you and Mike for a number of races, hasn't it? You guys have battled back and forth. It's the the old Wiley. I don't want to call him the old, but let's, let's call him the Wiley veteran and the young guy. What, what's it been like to go back and forth with uh, Mike? Uh, it's fun. He's a He's an outstanding driver. He deserves it. I'm glad it was him. Um, it was just he's, he deserves it. I knew he was close. I, know, I think he's been close a couple years past. I'm glad he finally got it. Hopefully next year might be my turn, but I'll see what I'm still doing next year. Well, congratulations for a great race and a great season. No problem. Thank you and the whole Pacific Challenge Series. Cool. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Jeremy Doss, the winner of the 2014 uh, Pacific Challenge Series race here at Roseville, the last race. Jeremy, uh, it was a tough uh, battle with a number of fast cars here tonight. What was it like? Uh, it was it was a blast. I mean, the crew hit the car perfect, and that that was that was it. Uh, I had a blast running with Matt and Eric, and we just hit traffic and got in good good positions all all night, and ended up paying off. I mean, I just got to thank uh, Tom and Brenda Gable for giving me the opportunity to drive this car. I five tire Pacific Auto Body, uh, Peter's racing engines. Pathfinder chassis, just my family and friends, everyone who comes out and supports me. So the last three races you have won here in the Pacific Challenge Series. How do you do it? Oh, uh, you know, we just always have good cars, and then we just end up in right positions. Uh, the first few races didn't go as planned. Ended up going around one, leading it, but uh, just the last three races we had perfect track position. We went good through traffic, and it just ends up paying off. I mean, I couldn't do it without this crew. They'd give me a perfect car all the time. Tell me about young Danny Allen and Mike Beeler, the guys running for the championship. What a great race they had, huh? Yeah, it's great, especially with that little point separated through them. Those guys, they do great every weekend. They run everyone clean. You don't ever see them do anything. And I'm just, I'm glad to see those guys running up there and Beeler getting the championship and Danny Allen coming up, making his way through the ranks. He's gonna be the, he's gonna be probably in NASCAR one day. He's, he's doing good. So, what are your plans next year? Uh, I'll probably run some, maybe a little bit of SRL, some PCS. Uh, we're we're going to go do some big money races, I'm thinking, and the super lates and just 
try to get our name out there as best as we can. Well, congratulations and good luck. Thank you. We're here with Matt Scott, took second place in the Pacific Challenge Series final race here at Roseville. Matt, there was a number of cars out there and a lot of hard battles and very good competitors. Tell me about your race car. Uh, my car got a little tight at the end. I think we're fighting the uh, the Goodyear rubber that's out here with the K&N cars. Uh, we're running the American Racers, which is a great tire. Um, I mean, geez, I can't I can't seem to beat that 75 car. Every time I come out here, it's one, two, me and him, and it doesn't matter who's out here, or how many cars there are. It always ends up being me and him at the end. And I just uh, we ran a little short at the end there, and uh, we're gonna have to do a lot of homework in the off season. What about that Pacific Challenge Series? You've run a few races out here. What about the competitors out here in the series? Oh, it's it's unreal. I mean, in uh, in practice, when there's when there's 37 cars and 36 of them are within a second of each other, it's it's some stiff competition and really really tough to run up front. Great. What are your plans for next year, Matt? I think we're going to do the uh, Pacific Challenge Series. I'm not exactly sure if we're going to run the entire series, but we're going to see what we can do as far as sponsorship goes. Camp Champagne helps us out a ton, so we're going to hope that they come back next year so we can go run a full season. Congratulations, Matt. Thank you very much. Here with uh, Pacific Challenge Series racer Shannon Manch, who finished sixth tonight. Shannon, uh, it's our understanding you had a few problems uh, coming in today's race. Why don't you tell us what happened before the race started? Um, the front timing chain cover leaked. We uh, tried to fix it before practice. We couldn't get it fixed it in time to get some good practice. I got a totally new setup on the car, so I needed some practice. So I went out there um, for qualifying on some stickers. Didn't do so well. I got a, like a 13.9. Started in the B. Um, made it to the A, and I just hung in there and missed all the wrecks, and I finished sixth. You won the you you won the hard charge award. Tell us uh, about that and how you feel about putting a lot of these uh, drivers that have been driving for 30 years plus uh, behind you. You know that's okay because I've been driving for 24 years, so I you know I know a lot of these guys, great guys. And this is a great series, and you know I got some great sponsors, and I got an awesome crew that was able to get me back out there with that oil leak, and you know we just stayed focused, and I just you know we just tried to do our best and so we we stayed out there. So there's a lot of wrecks out there I noticed and uh, a lot of people banging each other and uh, trying to move up as quick as they can. This is the last race. Uh, how did you avoid all that? You know I just you know thought there'd be a lot of wrecks up there so I was just really watching closely trying to just avoid all the wrecks as best as I could. You know a lot of the times I was able to avoid them by being either on the outside or really on the inside and got by, and I have a great spotter, so that helped a lot. Well, congratulations. What are your plans next year? I'm gonna race this series full time. Congratulations, Shane. Thank you. I'm here with John Moore. He, this, this guy is the ultimate man that has supported late model racing in Roseville forever and is, is here to support the Pacific Challenge Series. He came out, he has a bum injury from a motorcycle accident. <laughs> and is still able to show up and race. Tell us about the race, John. It looks like early on you had a little bit of damage to the car. Yeah, you know, we had a good car. I mean, the Pacific Coast Series that you've created is just, it's so awesome, Fred. I mean, we had close to 50 late models show up. So just to make the A main was a big deal. It reminds me of, you know, 15 years ago up in Shasta at the Wind River. And I love the rules up there, and you guys have kind of emulated them, and it's just, I run what you brung with some parody in the motor department and it's really working. I had a great time. You know, we finished all 100 laps. Somebody got a little carried away and, and it tore the right side of my car halfway off at about lap 15. And we were fighting it from that. But after that, my goal was, you know, race clean, get all 100 laps in. And uh, I just had a great time. Now, John, you're a veteran of the sport and you've raced with many uh, top NASCAR drivers in your life. Tell me about the specific challenge series and the quality of the drivers that you raced against tonight. Well, I'll tell you, you know, there's nothing like racing a 10 inch late model, 10 inch tire late model with a big motor in it. It's just a lot of fun. And like I said, when you start off with close to 50 cars and you weed them down to the top 24, that means you got 24 of the best drivers in, you know, the Western United States. So quality of driver, awesome. You know, it's NASCAR racing. It's stock car racing. Stock car racing, you're gonna have some hot heads, but there seems to be 
a lot less of them in this series. Everyone seems to have a really good time. And you know, without a few hotheads, it wouldn't be fun anyway. <laughs> well, congratulations, John, on a long career, and thanks for helping support the series. Thank you much. I'll be back. Well, here we are at the finale of our season for Pacific Challenge Series. It's been an awesome season. We couldn't have asked for a better race to wrap our, our, uh, wrap our season up with. It turns out that uh, Mike Beeler and Danny Allen had a hard-fought battle all year, and it came right down to the last points. And Mike Beeler pulled off the championship, so a big congratulations to those guys. This event was awesome, one of the strongest ones the West Coast has seen in a long time. We're really proud of it, and I think the guys are all really excited to get something started for next year. And uh, with what we've got going on, I think next year is just going to be a, a great building block on top of what we've already done. And I can't say enough about our teams and our guys and, and how well they come out and support our series and, and have a good time. It's just uh, turned out to be a really fun, exciting series. And man, I tell you, our guys put on a great show. I just couldn't ask for anything better. And uh, it's fun being here with the NASCAR k and series. Um, I saw a whole bunch of those guys even up cheering and watching our race and they were really impressed. And so our guys are pretty proud of that. We're in front of the biggest crowd we've ever had and uh, with the biggest car count we've ever had. And it was just a great ending to a perfect season. So we look forward to next year and coming back for some more specific challenge series, super late model racing. Challenge series, late model main event.